Hello everyone, my Rang here. We're continuing with our aggressive deck run. Blah blah blah, yeah, we all have masks, everybody knows that. <laughs> well, do they? Anyway. Wall jump punch will become unplayable if I don't play it on that guy. Two. Three. Okay, there we go. That gets us the four combo. If I took, so I had the opportunity to take Twitchy instead of Card Shredder. I could have made it so that I permanently have one extra combo. And that would have almost mattered that turn. Oh, I was thinking, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I was, yeah, yeah, I can left spin kick. Because I can get out of the way afterward. And having unlimited momentum does make the run a little, a little more. Uh, it makes it easier to make decisions. I just, I know for sure that I can just play every card every turn. I think I'm gonna use Vault. Yeah, I'm gonna move and then I'm gonna redraw. I didn't think about the fact that I have no combo. Yeah, that wasn't a smart decision. Okay, it's fine. We're just gonna just gonna get smacked for 18 damage. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> one mistake and almost half my health is gone. What a what an exciting game. Um. Yeah, this guy has a dodge, so. Well, here's some more card draw, since I have, even with Tactician, I have so much momentum that I, that like, this is just free card draw. Backslam is interesting. I don't think I need it. All right, so I hope I get like one or two heals. Push three enemies off the board. Okay, that's, it is kind of asking a lot, but somehow I'm able to get one easily. And we don't have any combo, so we can't play left spin kick. We're also not in position to play it. Um, what am I drawing next turn? Jumping back kick, which I can't play. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just gonna chill here, I guess. Yeah, like it's harder to get a ring out like this, but oh, I need to not make it so enemies friendly fire each other too much. Um. I guess I can play spinning back this pole. Ugh. If I had left spin kick, then pole would be pretty amazing. Okay, so both of these enemies are attacking. I wonder if there's a way I can minimize the friendly fire they're gonna do to each other. I don't really think there is. Uh Okay, I could draw a bunch of push cards. Man. These cats are gonna make me fail the objective. The optional objective. Um. Okay, so both both the sword ninja on the corner and the other and the basic ninja are dying this turn. Okay. Alright, well, hopefully... 
I don't know. Hopefully RNG just blesses me with eh, whatever. It's just uh Yeah, I'm not seeing this happening. I have a dodge, so I can just move anywhere with impunity. Ooh, slip into front kick. Hmm. <laughs> I could uh, take a card to give me health, but I'd rather just get an ambassador and get health. Long counter is a great card, but not in this deck. Okay, I was hoping for a grapple at some point. Um, quick strike is pretty much. It, quick strike is just worse than all my other attacks. I'm gonna upgrade Shimmy. Yeah, I don't need to upgrade. Well, I don't need to upgrade any of my movement cards to have them cost zero. So this actually increases my movement. Okay, so I'm going to want to add some damage to my deck if possible. Um, okay. Oh, I can make the I can make this ninja attack me immediately. And that will, uh, that'll cause him to die to friendly fire. Oh, that was interesting. I didn't think about the fact that, that Forcer was going to attack immediately. I thought it would be like Enforcer tries to attack, he can't because there's no target, and then the other guy moves. Alright, well, um, since he already attacked, he cannot attack again, so... You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do that. And I actually don't want to kill him. Because he does 20 damage to his buddy. And... I think he'll die to the bleed. Yeah, I think he'll take the bleed, even though he can't take damage from his buddies. I don't know. We'll actually... Oh, okay, I just... No, he's gonna get pushed by the Mystical Ninja. Um, okay, whatever. You're at one combo. Alright, now what? Let's just redraw and see what happens. Okay, if I play Vault into Spinning Back Fist, I'll be right in front of be right in front of an enemy with 32 health. Now I'm just gonna go for it. There we go. I knew I would draw something good. It was a it was a relatively high chance at least. Controlled power. That's a lot of damage. How likely am I to be unable to play it? So pretty soon I'm going to be going up against enemies that have like counters and stuff. I mean I'm currently already doing that. But I guess I kind of one shot them with uncontrolled power. You know, I'll just take it. Um, okay, let's take more momentum because... Having seven momentum per turn is pretty great, but I could have even more. Um. Okay, I have Bob and Weave. That is a movement card. All right, let's just play the uncontrolled power before we forget. Okay.
I actually don't have enough momentum to do everything. The five playing the 540 kick isn't even that important. So okay, we'll just do that. And I could punch this guy for 22. I mean, sure, why not, right? Gives us combo, it does damage. Alright, how likely is it that I'll be able to get a ring out? Oh. Um. Okay, if I shimmy, then the gas masker can't, um, won't be able to attack at the end of the turn. I don't know if that matters. But we get a dodge. Getting a dodge is pretty good. Okay, there we go. Yeah, these armor ninjas only have one range. Thank goodness. Alright. Oh, that was kind of scary. Um, yeah, I could move down diagonally down if I wanted to. Okay, I would like to be able to grapple front kick this guy to kill him, but... We will see if the cards that I draw allow me to do that. Uh, yeah, I just have to just have to do that. She's grapple defensively. Ugh. Don't you hate it when you have to play a card defensively? Oh, if I redraw and draw uncontrolled power, I would be kind of sad. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's lethal with these two cards. Cool. What am I drawing? I'm drawing into wall jump punch. Hmm. Jump me back in. Uh, and shift. Shift and shimmy. I... not sure. Yeah, the left spin kick would be the wrong spin kick. Let's just shift through this guy. Oh, he knows that I have left spin kick. Oh, he's so smart. Um, uh, okay. What if I slip here? Okay, whatever. Yeah, I am starting to run low on turns. Uh, okay, and we, we got it. I was concerned that I like draw badly for two turns in a row and then fail the mission, so I felt like I had to kill that guy. Okay, Suplex is kind of funny during the final boss. Intimidate's a great card, especially when you have unlimited momentum. Hmm. Take Intimidate. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm getting a ring out this time. That's okay. Um. Yeah, there we go. We bait him towards us and move out of the way. I'm starting to really like Shimmy. Okay, let's just 
Just get this grapple wall jump punch, and then... Okay, I definitely draw something useful. I was really hoping I'd draw front kick. But, we'll just draw front kick next turn. Yeah, what am I, what am I fretting about? Man, this is so much damage. Upgraded uncontrolled power. Wow. Okay, so I got a, two more kills. I think that'll be easy enough. That that, that seems like. Oh look, another ring out. Uh, I'm gonna build up some combo. Right uh, no, I'm not. I want to go over here and smack this guy. Okay, spinning back this can be pretty hard to play, as it turns out. I think with this hand... With this hand, I don't think I have the ability to play it. But I can make these guys hit each other, or make the one guy hit the other. It's always fun. Oh wow, it actually went to the last turn before we got enough kills. I, I wasn't at all concerned about actually getting them, but it was just kind of surprising that it took this long. Alright. I still have... that's a lot of momentum that I had. Alright, whatever. Call it a fight. Another heavy strike? Nah, I don't need another heavy strike. I was thinking, oh, I need another big damage card, and then I got uncontrolled power plus. But like, yeah, that's that's it's a lot of damage. Um, this is, yeah, this is the guy that advances, so we're just gonna not deal with that. Yeah, just get out of here. And okay. I did get a little lucky that I drew into something that would get me out of range. Oh, dual time for ninja. Well, luckily, luckily I'm not playing a deck right now that's bad against those. We're at zero combo. And... Okay. I, I really need a defensive card soon. Well, I have Intimidate, but I need... Oh, I totally forgot to play the Steel Cell. Eh, it's fine. There's another high damage card. Yeah, punch kick combo. Spends. And it it's an expensive card. It's not extremely expensive, but it You know, it's expensive enough that it that I kind of it feels like it rewards me having all this momentum. Like what's the point of having it if I can't use it? <laughs> and that does so much damage. Okay. Pretty good turn. Um, okay. Slip over here. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. You know, wall jump punch does reward me for having a lot of moving cards in my deck. I do. I, I, I feel like I have, I don't have like a lot, but I have enough that, like I, I, I've definitely erred on the side of having too many rather than not enough. All right. That, that's cool, I guess.
I'll just I'll just kill this guy. Oh, that guy died too. Cool. Okay. So yeah, I'm hoping I get a good defensive card. This is not a good defensive card. I guess it, in theory, could be good if I had a lot of block cards. But I want to have a few block cards and have them be impactful. Um, I could have sworn I had a front kick in here. Obviously, I don't. Okay. Oh, he blocked that. Okay, well, luckily, yeah, I guess he blocked it because the origin square was the direction I targeted, and then, you know, the attack came from that direction. Uh, I need to move closer to the ambassador. Oh, I'm so close to being able to use vault. Oh, if there wasn't a guy in the way, I could vault over. Like, if I was one square up, I could vault over and keep fighting, and I would feel so cool. Just beat up the ambassador. <laughs> he, does, he doesn't take damage when I attack him. But, so it lets me use, you know, it lets me use push cards. Um... Yeah, let's. Yeah, I will play two, two cards in order to cycle them and do some damage in the process. Ah, I redrew into my redraw. Amazing. Oh, these guys have immunity from in front. Wow, that's rude. <laughs> okay. I'm still trying to figure out if I can get use out of vault, out of vault's ability to vault over an obstacle. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Huh. That ambassador could not be in a more annoying square right now. Hmm. Oh, I bob and weave and shimmy. So it's a actually a, 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 I was kidding. <laughs> Alright, double damage wall jump punch. Okay, that's 20 cards in my deck. I think Hook Kick can go. And I think... Upgrading Spinning Backfist is cool because it makes me draw more cards. Upgrading Intimidate is cool because it retains. I think I'll upgrade Intimidate. I might remove Wall Jump Punch eventually. We are starting to get near the end of the run. Um, yeah, I don't seem to have... Uh, I don't seem to have a good way of pushing any damage onto the boss without taking damage in return. Or getting a ring out. All right. Um, okay. Actually, if I have, if I use shimmy. Yeah, look at this. 
Alright, yeah, so I take, I take six damage. But we end the fight. And we get healed fully. Okay, well, it would have been nice to get Bounty Hunter earlier, but this is going to give me... This is still going to give me a lot of money. Or I could just take eight more health. Hmm. No, I, I need the money. Oh, well, arguably I don't need it, but whatever. But that's where we're going to call it. So we're almost done with the run. Uh, stay tuned for next time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.